praise God. I want to bless God, fellow Nigerians. In such a time like this, we are confronted with a very critical situation. I've received responses from all across the nation. Thousands of men and women from around the world have called in, have written, have sent mails. And at this particular point, I needed to address you that we as a people have seen the comments you've made. Some of you have almost given up. Some of you have almost seen that this nation will not be able to stand. And you feel that we, the Northerners, um, will need to break away from the totality of the Nigerian people. We are not the Northerners as the problem of Nigeria. But then certain group of people decided to make themselves as the problem of Nigeria. And at such a time like this, I believe the finger of God is tremendously at work in this country. And we know that with the events of what is going on in the past few months last year, I asked that the National Assembly should do the thing that is needful. But the judiciary should also do the thing that is needful. Now we've come to the point where we are seeing how this nation is breaking apart. And things are happening and running down swiftly to destruction. I am admonishing all of us Nigerians at this particular point, men and women of conscience, I know that you will always have a group of people in a percentage in a nation that will love evil. But I believe that there are a massive number of Nigerians that love to see the true Nigeria born and the true Nigeria recovered from the hands of the few cabals. We've seen what has happened to the chief justices of this country. I don't care what the story is all about. But one thing is, I believe in due process. I believe in justice. I believe in fairness. And at this particular point in time, lives have been wasted. People have been killed. Voices have been silenced. Our nation is dis disintegrating in the minds of the younger generation and a lot of Nigerians. They are beginning to lose hope in their great country. And I want to encourage you not to lose hope. I want to encourage you not to lose hope. Nigeria will be recovered. Nigeria will be recovered. All I am asking us to do is for all of us to stand up in the defense of our country. Not standing up with the AK-47 and the weapons of men, but rising up with our voices, rising up with our PVC to remove the unrighteous, unjust government that is in place. President Mohammed Buhari has tried his own, but I admonish the president to retire back to his home. At this particular time, I will not encourage even my father that I've known has age before he passed on to glory. There are certain things that I will not advise him to do. I have watched the debate on the presidential media chart on NTA. I was ashamed as a Nigerian. I knew that this man is age and all he needs to do is to retire home. We should not join forces to help to the destruction of our country. We as Nigerians must join hands together to make sure that the right thing is done. We have the right men and the right women. In the next few days, in this month of January, into the first week of February, we must decide to say to ourselves, that nobody is going to manipulate our electoral process. We must choose as a people that a government of national unity will be formed to be able to build and raise a standard for a nation that we can all call our nation. Abdul Salam Abubakar, the former military head of state, did something that is so gracious to be able to see that he gives back the government and leadership of Nigeria back to the people. And that's why he decided to hand over as a military head of state that he would have held on to the Nigerian nation and held us bound. But he chose to do what is right. Handed over and we had the first democratic government in place, 1999. And since then we've been going through from one transition to the other. At this point, a lot has happened in this country that we cannot afford to sit down and be watching the destruction of our country. We have prayed and we have fasted and God has responded to us. But we also have a responsibility as men and women of conscience to recover our nation. 
recover our nation. And at this point, it's not about self. It's not about individual, but it's about the purpose and the program of God for the redemption of Nigeria. So what I want to encourage you, I've seen your mails and I'm responding to all your mails. At this particular point, don't give up. Don't call for the separation of Nigeria. Nigeria will not break. God has a tremendous plan for this country. And I know that 2019 will decide our faith. The peace of God will prevail upon Nigeria. We as a people should join our hands together. I have seen so many people across this country as I travel. And I've also received Nigerians of great minds that have come to discuss and talk with me. Together we can put our hands together to salvage our country and put the right government in place and the right people in place. I have promised you that before the election, by the grace of God, I will announce to you who we should collectively join our hands together to vote as we form a government of national unity. Don't be discouraged, but it is time the Nigerian legislators should do what is right. And the Nigerian judiciary should arise also to protect our democracy. And I want to advise all politicians it is time you do what is right in righteousness. For God Almighty is a righteous judge. And I want to call on the Nigerian youth. Don't sell yourself for a muzzle of bread. Don't sell yourself for a little amount of money. It is time we walk the talk and gather ourselves in different parts of this country to cry out for a new leadership in this country. God bless Nigeria and God bless Nigerians. By the grace of God, I will soon be coming your way to tell you who we as a people should vote. God bless you. Shalom.